Hey YouTube, Peach out here. Today's video is going to cover questions that I get asked often on my YouTube videos, my live streams, on Reddit, and even on Twitter. Those questions are things like, hey P, what does the Z stand for? Or what the heck is a Pac-Man barb? What do you mean when you say spaghetti level? I'm going to answer those questions and many more. I'm going to cover the most commonly used acronyms in Diablo 3. It's possible that I forgot some, so if you could think of some acronyms that I didn't cover in this video, make sure you comment in the comment section below. I'm gonna drop some timestamps in the description, so if there's a specific acronym you're looking for, you can click it and jump straight to it. It took me a while to compile this list, so if this video helps you out at all, then do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. All right, enough of me talking, let's go. ROS stands for Reaper of Souls. It's the only expansion to Diablo 3. HC is Hardcore. SC is Softcore. Map Tile Type. Map pieces in Diablo 3 are random puzzle pieces that fit together to form the maps. They are procedurally generated, but they are always of the same tile type. So you'll see me talking about this is a good tile type, this is a bad tile type, and a specific tile means the piece of the puzzle. So there are corner tiles, there are T tiles, there are open tiles. So a lot of times you'll see people talking about tile types during meta pulls. Spaghetti is the map tile type shown on the screen here. It is often referred to as spaghetti. Spaghetti caves is another tile type that is also spaghetti-ish, but it's in caves. Festering is the map tile type shown on screen right now. It is an open tile type that is generally one of the best for pushing. TP is Town Portal, WP is Waypoint. Rats came from the Rothma set. The word rat is the first three letters of the Rothma set, and that's where the name originated from. But now it has shifted. It's not necessarily the Rothma set that powers the Singularity Mages anymore. Usually it's a Legacy of Dreams or a Legacy of Nightmare build. This could definitely change in the future, so rats is more accurately an acronym for Singularity Mage speedruns. It is used for paragons farming and speed torment clears. Meta equals the most efficient tactic available, but more often and not in Diablo 3, it's referring to the push meta, which is used to try to farm the number one spot on the leaderboards and or to do greater rift 150s. RGK equals rift guardian killer. BK equals boss killer. P-U-R barb, per barb, or just per means pickup radius barb for rats. It's when a barbarian stacks pickup radius and they can pick up health globes at extremely far distances. This is often referred to as a globe barb. Globe barb and a per barb are the same thing. A Pac-Man barb is also another variant of the word per or globe. It means the same thing. It's a pickup radius barbarian usually used in rat runs. A pull barb is a Z barb meta build that uses ancient spear to gather trash and elites and get them all stacked up so the DPS and the elite killers and the meta groups can blow up the trash. Speaking of Z, what are Z characters? A Z barb, a Z neck, a ZDH, a Z monk. The Z stands for zero DPS. They are support characters. They are either buffing the damage of their damage dealers or they are keeping everybody alive. So speaking of that, typically if they say Z barb, they're referring to a pull barb because a pickup radius barb is usually referred to as a per barb or a globe barb. A Z necro is the support necro for rats. Typically this Z necro is freezing everything on the screen with land of the dead and producing a lot of health globes for the globe barb or pickup radius barb to pick up. A ZDH is a support demon hunter. There have been many variants over the years will probably likely change in the future, but typically they increase the damage dealt by the rest of the teammates, as well as provide a little bit of toughness. A Z Monk is a support monk that heals the group. Usually you'll find these in metas, but Z Monks have kind of been mixed in and out of different comps for a long time. One of the, if not the only best healing class in Diablo 3. Bis is best in slot. LOTD is land of the dead. Proct equals a cheat death mechanic was used. Very important in hardcore so your teammates can help keep you alive or help get you town portaled back to town safely. If you ever hear anybody say they've procced and you're playing hardcore, that's usually freak out mode. CDR equals cooldown reduction. CHC equals critical hit chance. CHD equals critical hit damage. 
RCR is resource cost reduction. IAS is increased attack speed. AD is area damage. APS is attacks per second. ASI is attack speed increase. LOH is life on hit. LPH is life per hit. DOT is damage over time. And DW is dual wield. Something you're going to see a lot when you're doing group play is plus or plus plus. And if you've never seen this before, you're like, what the heck is this guy talking about? It means I have an experience shrine on me, teleport to me so we can click it. The plus equals plus experience or bonus experience. POR equals pool of reflection. Pool equals pool of reflection. Grift equals greater rift. MH equals main hand. OF equals offhand. SOTC equals scythe of the cycle. AMI equals amulet. Aki equals oculus ring. COE equals convention of elements ring. NEMS equal Nemesis Bracers, Strongs equals Strong Arm Bracers, Reapers equal Reaper Wrap Bracers, EF is Echoing Fury, F and R equals Focus and Restraint, TNT means Tasker and Theo, OR, ORZ, and Zodiac all mean Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac, ROG is Ring of Royal Grandeur, LOD is Legacy a Dreams Gem, LON is Legacy a Nightmares Ring Set, Trap is Bane of the Trapped Legendary Gem, Cube equals the Kanai's Cube. Some of the enemies that you'll fight have names and funky things that people will call them. Turkeys are Tremors, Chairs are Guardians, Spear chuckers are the goatman spear throwers. Fatties are grotesques. Leapers are the mobs that leap at you. Tongue lashers are the mobs that lick you. Exploders are grotesques and boomers are grotesques. And zappers equals shock towers. PL equals power level. Numlock can mean a couple different things. It's kind of code for auto casting abilities when they come off a of cooldown. There is an official numlock trick that you can do in game. But people often refer to this just as auto casting, whether it's using software macros or whether it's using the numlock ability. Lawnmower equals kill everything as you go through the rifts. Inside, outside are positions for max globe production so you don't lose globes to walls in the map. Pubs equal public games. Splits equal four man split bounties where each person goes and does their own bounty solo. KW equals key wardens. Ubers equal uber bosses. CR is the challenge rift. Para equals paragons. Gons equals paragons. RMAH equals real money auction house, a system that's no longer in the game, but people often refer to it because it's a meme. DR equals damage reduction. Res equals resistance. CR equals cold resistance. LR equals lightning resistance. FR is fire resistance. PR is poison resistance. AR is arcane resistance. And then RA is resist all. STR is strength. DEX is dexterity. INT is intelligence. VIT is vitality. GF is gold find. And MF is magic find. Obviously, we have acronyms for the classes. DH is for demon hunter. WD for witch doctor. Barb for barbarian. Wiz for wizard. And monk is just monk. Now I'm going to go into some more generic gaming terms. Tank or tanky equals able to absorb more damage. Chip equals killing things slowly, like I'm chipping away at a mob. Farm is a process to get an end result. Usually it's time consuming, like I'm gonna farm some greater rifts, means I'm gonna farm them for a long time to get what I want. Ding equals leveling up. A lot of times you'll hear people say ding because of the little ding sounds it makes. WTS is want to sell. WTB is want to buy. WTT is want to trade. PM equals private message. Like, let me send you a PM. LFG is looking for group. LFM is looking for member. DPS is damage per second. PVP is player versus player. PVM equals player versus monster, often referred to as PVE or player versus environment, those kind of go hand in hand. Buff equals increased stats or player power makes stronger. Nerf is to decrease stats or player power to make weaker. CC is crowd control. RNG is random number generator. XP equals experience. And then T1 through T16 refers to the torment level. Torment level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 16. As always, guys, if you want to support the channel and help me grow, then a thumbs up is very appreciated. Hit the subscribe button. Click the bell notification icon so you don't miss those uploads. I can't grow without you guys. You guys are awesome and I appreciate it. So please consider doing those things. I tried to go through that pretty fast. If there was an acronym I didn't cover on there, ask in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it for you. 
If you see some that I missed, throw them down there and drop the explanation for your community members. You never know. They might be looking for that one acronym that you're thinking of. And I will catch you very soon for more Diablo content. Peace.